Hi there. Um, it's been quite a while that I posted a video for Stitch Buddy, which is an embroidery editor for Mac OS X and for iOS. Um, but today I will release a new version and I think it's a good opportunity to give you some insight into the new features. Um, my name is Matthias. I'm the person behind Stitch Buddy and, well, I will just start the new Mac OS X application now. As you can see, the icon has slightly been updated. And the new version, which is 2.0, mostly deals with thread management. So um, there's a lot you can do with colors. And that's what I will do with a kind of example here. I will combine these three embroidery files into a single one and then show you some of the new features. So first I will open the welcome embroidery design and to uh, save my changes under uh, in a new file, I will just change the name so I won't overwrite the existing file. That's something you might have seen in one of the other videos as well. So I've just created a new Jeff file. Jeff is an embroidery format for Genemy embroidery machines called Greetings. And now I would like to combine the other two designs into the single file. So I will open the next one which is now, for example, the Stitch Buddy file. I will select all stitches, which I could do by um, pressing the Apple or Command key uh, combined with the A, or here I use the appropriate menu item. I will copy stitches into this clipboard, close the design and paste the stitches. So here they are. Or, well, might be might make sense to zoom a little bit out to have a better overview. Um, so I will now drag Stitch Buddy somewhere behind, uh, below the welcome letters. Dragging as well. Per the performance of dragging is not as good as I would like to have it. Nevertheless, uh, dragging or repositioning stitches can also be done by an, a menu item where you enter the amount. Um, well, Okay, these two are combined. So I will open the third one. Um, only the two letters here. Now I will use the menu shortcuts to make it a little bit easier or faster. And again, I will drag and click into an another area to unselect the stitches. So as you might notice, when I zoom out a little bit, the design is completely off center now or because I have combined various parts into one single design. You should always center a design before saving it or at least before using it on your embroidery machine. So I will center the design and now I will just save it under the given name. So here's my new design combining three and three designs designs or three letters, words, something like that into one. You can use this for monograms or other things. So just imagine I would like to have uh, the words welcome and two uh, with the same color. So I will use the middle green here for this color as well. Nevertheless, um, my embroidery machine will now stitch welcome in green, ask me to change for blue, will stitch the word stitch buddy, ask me to change again to green and stitch two. Well, that's not what I would like to have. I would like to change colors only twice, one for green, one for blue. So um, as these parts of the design aren't overlapping, I can just change the um, stitch order of these parts and that, that is a new feature of Stitch Buddy version 2.a. So what I can do is I can just drag and drop the, uh, sorry for that, um, the third um, used thread at a given position. I can undo this change as well. Um, I can use the context menu clicking the right mouse button and say stitch earlier. So now I have um, two words with the same color, which will be stitched one after the other. Um, just let me unselect the ocean blue so it's better to see now. Um, 
nevertheless, depending on your embroidery machine, this will it will still ask after stitching welcome for a new color. Also, the second color is the same one as the first. It depends on the machine type. I know some Eugenomy machines are combining these uh, colors on their own, but you can do it in Stitch Buddy as well. Just with a right click on the second uh, part of the design, I select skip color change. So it will combine the welcome word with two. That's what happened. So now my embroidery machine will only ask me to change for blue, which is quite okay. Um, imagine now that stitch body, which is completely in blue, should be stitched in two colors. Maybe stitch in blue and body in red or something like that. So I need to um, split the word stitch body into two parts. To do this, it's also a new feature in 2.0. I will zoom in. So maybe a little more. So here between the H and the B, there's a jump stitch. Um, this stitch is linking these both letters. Uh, I can select this stitch. And now I can right click on the stitch um, and use the menu item insert color change. Another possibility to do this is when no stitch is selected, then Stitch Buddy will select the stitch under your mouse pointer. But I find it more convenient to select stitches first, and then Stitch Buddy will insert a color change before the selection. It's not necessarily one stitch, there can be a couple of stitches selected, and after using the context menu, the color change is always inserted before the selection. So basically the word stitch body was split it into two parts. And of course now I can easily use the second one and uh, I mentioned red. Okay, use a red thread color to stitch this design. Um, when I uh, click on the equal sign here, um, the design will be resized so it will fit the complete uh, window. So here's my Final design, welcome to Stitch Buddy, in the colors I'd like. I split it uh, one word, I combined two others. These are the major features of Stitch Buddy for Mac version 2.8, which is released today. Um, there are some other, well, minor enhancements. You might have noticed that the zoom view has changed a little bit. If I zoom out, for example, there's a kind of canvas now around the stitch body area as uh, this stitch area um, another enhancement that the zoom level isn't changed when part of the designs are moved or deleted it was uh, somehow irritating in the past um, and you can for example select part of the design and convert the stitches from jump stitches into regular ones and vice versa that sometimes make uh, sense if you have received some kind of well mal or designed design some some corrupted design where stitches should be regular stitches stitches but are saved as jump stitches then you can just select them and use the appropriate context menu button so um, that's enough for now i will end this video i would like to have your comments on facebook at facebook slash slash stitch buddy um, or of course you can drop me a mail at info at stitch buddy.de um, the update version 2.0 is a free one for all registered mac users um, and i hope you enjoy the new features as much as i do take care have